we're going to learn three different ways of playing major chords on the piano. So major chords are happy sounding chords. So the first method of making major chords, we're gonna be counting half steps. We're gonna to need to know the interval of a half step. So intervals are just the distance between two notes. Half steps are pretty easy to find. You're just going to the closest possible note. If you want to raise C by a half step, you would just move to the right to the nearest possible note. So from C to C sharp would be a half step. E to F is a half step. D to D sharp is a half step. The way you can test this, if there's no note in between the two keys, then you've done it right. If you play F and G, there's a black key in between those two. So that would not be a half step. If you played E and G, there's two notes between them. So that's not a half step. B and C, there's nothing in between. So that is a half step there. Some half steps are going from a white key to a black key. Some are going from a white key to a white key. E and F, there's no black key there. Some half steps are going from a black key to a white key, but it's always going to the nearest possible note. So the first method of making major chords, we're just gonna be counting half steps. So a major chord, it's got three notes in it. We're gonna to try to make a C major chord on the piano. So the first note is gonna be C. To figure out the second note, it's gonna be four half steps higher. If you're playing C, one, two, three, four, that's the second note of the chord. And then the next note of the chord is gonna be three half steps higher from that. So one, two, three. So the C major chord is C, E, and G. So you just find your root note, and then you count up four half steps, and then three half steps. So let's do a couple chords just to practice that. Let's try a G major chord. So we're starting on G. We count four half steps higher, one, two, three, four is B. And then three half steps higher. One, two, three. There's your G major chord. Let's try one with some black keys in it. So F sharp major. We'll count four half steps up. One, two, three, four. And then three half steps up from that. One, two, three. So there's F sharp major. So that's your first method of figuring out a major chord. So you get your root note, whatever chord you wanna play, and then four half steps up, three half steps up. Now the next method is also using half steps. For this, you need to know how to at least do a C major chord. So we already figured out that a C major chord is C, E, and G. So if we're starting with C, E, and G, what we're gonna do is raise each note of the chord a half step. And by doing that, that gives you every major chord in all the keys. The trick to this is you need to go really slow because if you get messed up on one of them, all of the chords after that will be wrong. So what I recommend is doing this one note at a time. If you're starting on C major, raise each note a half step. So the C will go to C sharp, the E will go to F, the G will go to G sharp. So now we have C sharp major. Whatever your thumb note is, that will tell you the name of the chord, the root note. So now we've got C sharp major. Let's go to the next one, D major. We move the thumb to D, middle note goes to F sharp, top note goes to A. Next one, E flat, G, B flat, E flat major and then just going real slow, one note at a time. E major. F major. F sharp major. G major. A flat major, or G sharp major. A major. B flat major, B major, and back to C major. Another method of figuring out your chord is using the major scale. If you know how to play a C major scale, the major chord is the first, third, and fifth note of the scale. If you don't know how to play 
a major scale, you can construct a major scale using the half steps and whole steps. So the formula for a major scale is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Starting on C, a whole step is two half steps, and then another whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. No matter what note you start on, if you use that formula, that'll tell you the notes of your major scale. If you want to do an F sharp major scale using that formula, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, F sharp major. Then you just take the first, third, and fifth note of that scale, and that gives you your major chord.